What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. Got a little bit of a different video for you guys today. So one thing we've been requested to make a video on on the channel is how to process a whole fish. So we're going to do it species by species and in today's video I'm going to show you how to process a whole grouper. So what I mean by that is to utilize every single inch of this fish. I'm going to show you guys how to remove the head, save the collars to grill up or cook up, save the carcass to make a fish stock or fish soup, and then of course just take off the fillets for dinner. So the first thing you're going to want to do, if you want to cook a whole grouper, let's say you want to bake it in the oven, you would gut it, but the most important thing is to scale your fish. If you, can, if you want to leave the skin on grouper, grouper is one of those fish that you can certainly eat the skin on, it crisps up real nice and gives it a good flavor. So there are many tools you can use to scale your fish. I'm just using a butter knife. You can use a spoon, you can use a, a fork, just make sure it's not sharp, but make sure it's somewhat abrasive because what you're gonna do is, we're gonna go from the tail end of the fish towards the head end of the fish, okay? And you're just gonna work like this and you're gonna see those scales fly off. Now you're gonna do this for the entire fish everywhere, around every single fin, the belly, around the dorsal area, around the head. You're gonna wanna repeat this process. So when I'm done, I'll catch you guys back here once this, once this fish is all scaled up. Now that our fish is all scaled up, this is an eight inch tiger edge that we make. I'm gonna have it linked below. This is a very versatile knife. Not only is it going to help us to remove the head and work around the bones, but this is a great bait knife as well. I'm going to have it linked below for you guys. So in order to gut any fish, what you're going to want to do is, every fish has a little anal opening right here by the anal fin. You want to stick your knife inside the anal opening and work up towards these fins right here. And when you get to the throat, you can stop right there. You want to open this and just rip the guts out. Once our fish is gutted, you guys can see, the gut cavity is clean like that. If you wanted to bake this fish whole or something, you still gotta remove the gills. I'm gonna remove the head entirely and separate it. So in order to do that, you really gotta have a strong knife. That's why I really like the tiger edge. Every fish has what's known as a collar. So the collar is this section right here that's connected to the pec fin, and it connects to the bottom of the head or the jaw, and then connects to the top. So you have a head, you have the collar, and then you have the body of the fish. What we're gonna do is remove the collar, we're gonna remove the head from the collar right now. So you guys can see that his gills connect to the collar right there. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna go through this lining right here on the other side of the gills. So between the gills and the collar, I'm gonna break through that and then follow this around here towards the soft part of the head up to there, flip them around, do the same thing over here, that kind of lining, go to the throat and I want to separate the bottom collar right here from the head. Okay, now I have separated the collar from the head. You guys can see how it ripped off on the bottom right there. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to look inside this fish's gill cover right there, lift it up, remove the gills around the collar once again. Now it's just attached at the top part. So you guys can see this is the collar right here. The gills are attached to the head. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna chop the head off. Just like so. Here's the head with the gills attached. Now there is meat in this head. If you wanted to use it for a fish stock or a fish soup or you wanted to bake this, all you'd have to do is remove these gills right here. Now we have the collar attached to the body. Now we're gonna remove the collar from the body. Right here is like a little plate, a little bone. What we're gonna do is take our knife, get underneath there, remove it, okay? Now we're gonna take the knife and go around this pec fin, 
Now it's disconnected from that side. Flip my grouper over. Same thing, there's this little plate right here we got to get under. We got under that plate. Now take your knife and go around the peck fin once again. So now this is what's known as the grouper throat or the collar. So now you guys can kind of visualize it. Here was the grouper's head, here's the collar, the body's behind there. This is great on the grill. This is a very rich, fatty piece of the fish. And since we scaled this, it's good to go with the skin on. So we're gonna set this aside as well. Now we're gonna do our traditional filet. The only thing that's different about this is that the collar, the guts, and the head are removed. So just like with any filet, and the knife that I'm gonna be using, this is an eight inch flexible filet. Once again, find it linked below. So take the tip of your knife, go on the fish's spine and just outline the very outer edge of this grouper. Once we get to the tail, we can rest the knife on the spine and work your way back up. Once you have your filet separated all the way to the backbone, what you're going to want to do is lift up right here and you're going to have to get over what's known as the pin bones and the rib cage. So kind of angle your knife up like that. There we go, over the rib cage. This side of the backbone, work down. Finish out your foil. Just like that. There's your beautiful one half of your red grouper filet. Here was the rib cage. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so here's the other half of your filet. So this is your traditional Western style fish filet. Now all that's left, this is the carcass. See, a lot of people think that this is waste, but there's actually a ton of meat in between the bones, in the carcass, around the belly. You know, this is stuff that most people will neglect or throw away, but this makes a great fish stock or soup. Or if you do decide to bake it whole or fry it whole, you know, then when you're done, you can actually eat all of the meat in between the carcass. So that's a wrap. This is what you end up with when you break down a whole fish. You get your two fillets, which you can still skin. I'm not going to because we're going to eat these with the skin on. This is your carcass. Great for a fish stock, soup. Heck, if you want to use it for chum or for bait, but don't let it go to waste. This is the head of the fish. Once again, if you cook it whole, just remove the gills and there's a ton of meat in here. There's also cheek meat in here. You could use it for a soup or stock. And then lastly, you have the collar or what's known as the throat, great on the grill. I hope you guys found this video helpful and useful. If you guys like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.